internet's out because they're doing service in the area. So in one sense, I can't get any work done today, but in the other sense, I can play on the skid steer all day without feeling guilty. Let me tell you, the first feeling of breaking dirt in the morning, it's a good one. It's a real good one. Power Wash Kev, AKA Landscape Kev, AKA Skid Steer Kev, came by. Out of control. Out of control. Yeah, I, said I, I said I wanted this tree gone and we got a little stump grinder and uh, we learned that some Kevin grinder decided to dig it out instead. Yeah, the stump grinder was not the move. I mean, it didn't work that well. For like a stump this big, it all right, worked. maybe. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, quite the monstrosity. But look at, I've uh, I got a little overzealous with <laughs> making these trails. Look at how crazy this is. Now, <laughs> you can come through here with a widened section from the culvert. There's like a trail that blazes through here, comes around, and my favorite thing over here. I spent a lot of time with this kid yesterday and today. There's like two little figure eight layouts. I don't know how they're gonna be for car, but for like for Surons or for the side by side, there's like two little islands of trees. One here, one over there. And you can kind of do like a little figure eight, a little jump that goes over to this side. This place is getting crazy. Well, Kev's on the skid. I hopped on Old Faithful, put a box blade on the back of her. It's been working really good for grading the trail. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> that looks crazy. I have to drag it out of here with the truck or something. Yeah. I admire your dedication, bro. You, I haven't been here <laughs> since you've begun. This is nuts. It's kind of crazy, huh? Bro, if you, uh, I'm like in shock. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> There's like, so much going on. So much going on. I, I feel naked though. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm seeing the street from back in my shop there, and I'm like. Bro, what? <laughs> it's the first time I've been here. It's this is crazy. I it, want my Pajero back. It's sick. Crazy. I think you can be riding the side by side. It's yeah. the coolest in the world. Yeah. All right, it's a new day and we're doing finishing touches on the trails. Lots of just little finish grading just to get rid of the bumps. We're shooting the reel today for the Safari GTR clothing drop, which is probably one of the biggest drops that we've had in a long time. Lots of pieces to the collection. And uh, we're kind of doing a reel, if you saw the last day in the life, that's inspired by the pizza reel we did uh, with the chaser. You guys love that. The collection did really well, so we're hoping to replicate it. Not uh, try to reinvent the mold too much, but um, still take what we learned, make it better. James. What are we doing today? We are filming the safari reel that we talked about in the meeting in the day in the Monday video. Day in a Monday. Yeah. And now it's a day in the Friday. Now it's a day in the Friday. So, um, what you setting up? I'm setting up GoPro angles to make sure that we can capture Adam driving in the best way possible, best angles possible for like the stuff that we're trying to do. Um, the two angles that we always kind of get is front facing towards Adam, and then a rear facing towards the front. Um, this one is already set up shooting all these vertical for social media. 
So 4K, 24 frames. Better, and I'm just playing with the uh, angle of the back one. This one's cool here, because this one, uh, you can actually see his legs pretty well. So you're gonna see his, his uh, what do they call it? The foot play. <laughs> yeah, foot play, clutch pedal, dumps, and yeah. all the all the driving and... The, the spirited foot play. <laughs> you're gonna catch some of that. So I want to use like my actual camera, my a7S III, to get the chase shots because it's just going to look that much better. But I want to make sure that it will actually stick to this because they're like industrial rated suction cups. So I know that they would hold, but this is flat vinyl and it doesn't really like to stick to that kind of stuff. So I'm going to clean all this off, see if I can get that stuff mounted, and then I'll know from there whether I can or have to use a GoPro. So Adam. Booth and Kev, Ethan did most of the work yesterday, but we're just doing a, that final once over. But even when Adam took the skid steer back over it again, it uh, uprooted some big logs and shit. So just went back through it. Looks like we're about, about ready to start. It is 9.32, been here for two hours now, almost two hours, and we're just now getting ready to go. Pitch everything just before the, before the jump is really rough. So I'm gonna go grade that, but I'm not gonna touch anywhere else. This jump? Yeah, the other side. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. See, that wasn't there before. Ziggler digged it up. Dug it up. Yeah, I mean, the, the what's left is just like the deep roots that are thin anyways. There's no thick ones, so. It looks smooth enough. It's hard to tell on this. Right by the palm tree, you might need to fill a little bit more. Yeah. It just looks like it dips a little bit. Yeah, I'm okay if there's like little dips and stuff as long as it's not gonna like like oscillate the car like one or two will look cool on video Yeah, um, it's like to, to properly fill some of that stuff. It's gonna take a while. Are you going past the palm tree and going that direction? No. Okay, so you're gonna go to the left. Yeah, okay. coming from there. Here. I'm gonna move that bumper just because it you could cut that corner pretty tight Yeah, I got it. Not sure if they've uh, filmed this already, but there's literally a whole bumper back here just in the woods Hanging out. Couldn't tell you what it's, oh, it's, it's steel too. What the hell? Damn, I don't know what this would, I mean, maybe it's off of some, some sort of equipment, but beefy. Yeah, so that, that if he would've cut this corner, like he's coming in from here, if he would've cut this corner, he could've definitely clipped that coming around here. So I'm just gonna free this up a little bit. Did it work, Mike? It did. All right. Yeah, I'm just getting the, uh, like the basic angle setup to where I'm happy with it, making sure that all the edges are level. Yeah. It's kind of a crude setup, but it works really well, and I've used it for years. It's never failed me, so as long as these stick, which they are proving to stick, yeah, we're good to go. Also gives you a lot more uh, range than the GoPro. Like you're gonna yeah. do more with it. It'll be a little bit tighter, but the like visceral feeling of driving will be shown way better through mm -hmm. this, I think just from it being, you know, the camera we film everything with. Very tight. How are you feeling? I'm ready to rip. Yeah? Yeah, if I had my helmet on, I'd already be sessioned side <laughs> by side. <laughs> well, I also don't want to tear it up. Oh, true. This will root it up real good. Not too bad, but. So I think I am going to use the wide angle. I have like a fixed wide angle lens that I want to use for like the chase part of this. Um, I'll use my 24 to 70 for the rest of it, but just to be able to get the whole trail and not only like a third of the car. And Sean's a driver, so he'll be able to be like right there. Yeah. You know, most people you'd need to use the narrow lens because they'd be so far away. <laughs> Sean's being scared, he'll hit me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially if you tell Sean he can go as close as he wants because the camera's wide. You last will go 10 tenths and then he'll pull up after and call you <laughs> Hey, last time this was used was uh, for the compound shoot. That's when it blew up. Yeah. Overheated. Oh, I forgot about that. Find some wood to knock on. <laughs> If it's gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up. Yeah, that uh, that jump right there, it's gonna take me way too long to make better. It, the lip is too steep and the landing's a little too steep. So it's, Skyline's not gonna like that one. Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna like the other one. The problem is I'm gonna be able to build way too much speed going at that one, yeah. but I don't have time to make it better. So this is the landing on this side, right? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't look that bad, but with a car, if I, if I pick up enough speed. It looks like the takeoff from here. It looks steep, so. Yeah. <laughs> This is the jump that he was talking about. This is technically the landing, because it's gonna come from over there, where I was clearing that corner. 
But this, I mean, it's hard to tell. This looks pretty, pretty aggressive. Let's go see if you can tell the difference on the other side. Dude, that's, yeah, that's nuts. I think it's steeper on the other side than it is on this side. So Adam's headed over to get the car now and on his way over he was asking if he should do full face or half face. Um, I told him half face just cause you get the, the facial expressions and like the, the, not cringe in like a bad way, but like the muscle tensioning and the, like you can really tell that he's driving at 10 10s. Like, like I was talking about his legs earlier, his face is gonna be so tense and he's gonna be like making a bunch of wild facial expressions, but it's gonna make it that much more of an intense shot. Wow! <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about half face versus full face, Mike? Um, half face, better for reaction, but bad for squishy face. Just squishy face. Oh yeah, he's gonna be it squishy make, face. It, it make anyone's face squishy. But I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's like part of the storytelling because he's gonna be like, oh, you're just saying like- Where the cushions yeah, like squeeze your cheek. Yeah, it's gonna you like a bulldog because it yeah. squishes you. Yeah, but he's, he's gonna show that much more. Yeah. Intensity. Do you need a whittle waddle to get up there and set your camera up? I don't, but you might need it for your full one up for your tent. Your teleforma tent. <laughs> no, I swapped it for my 14 millimeter wide, um, and it's much, much better now. So I'll be able to get like the entire trail. Um, yeah, it'll be hard to kind of see. Yeah, kind of. Oh, there we go. Yep. Damn, that is wide. Yeah, it's very, very wide, but it's benefits for like a tight trail because it'll give this kind of like warp speed effect on the sides as you're flying down. So it should look pretty, pretty cool. We're not gonna do this shot first. I just wanted to make sure that this rig was set up so when we do need it, I can just pop the camera back on. So I'm gonna swap back over to my 24 to 70. And then I think when he gets over here, we're just gonna, we're gonna do it corner by corner, kind of like we do the compound lap videos and just film each corner and each section of the of the track. That way we can piece all that stuff together later. You heard it here first, benefits of a tight trail. Man, what a rig. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah? You yeah. do a little, little slow pass? Yeah, there's a, uh, I mean, we'll just, we'll do it, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> they're not high speed jumps, they're yeah. low speed jumps. In other words, some areas we need to be a little careful. Yeah. The nervous laugh is, is promising for good content. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The let's just get it over with. Let's just get it over is, with. <laughs> it's enough to tell me. I mean, I was checking out the jump closer, dude. That It's almost perfectly matched on both sides, but I would say one side is, is slightly steeper than the other, and I think your landing is slightly steeper. The only challenge, I shouldn't say the only challenge, I'm not very experienced with driving this car all-wheel drive, and I want it to be all-wheel drive for the real, which is gonna make it way faster going off the jumps. Yeah. So I might need to slam on the brakes before the jumps, which is kind of lame, but time. All right, this will be the first try, first lap. Let's do it. Ready? Ready. Let's I want to shoot this one in high speed, so I'm just going to switch to uh, 120 frames a second. That way I can slow it down a little bit if he like peels out and does dirt things. Good! <laughs> He ripped that corner over there, it's going yeah. sick. That oh yeah. In slow-mo would Dude, look pretty cool. The little, the little tail kicking out at the yeah. end, that was sick. What we had talked about when we did the pizza reel, like sticking to the same side, so yeah. you're, you're passing, so I'm gonna get your rear end swinging out and going down that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna be in the path. Okay. You won't see me, but I won't, I won't be in your way. What was that? Director's here. <laughs> Director booth. Like right at the, the end of the rocks. Well, I kind of pictured it in my head before it happened, and it was just like, I know it's gonna look sick in slow mo. Dude, you got every bit of dirt in that one. <laughs> like this right here in slow, kicking up. Hell yeah. That's gonna be sick. Yeah. Money. Damn. Mm -hmm. It looks sick. Is it like kind of box coming out of the corner? It's weird. 
What? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> these these two shots are good. I'll probably go. So you're going to jump next. That's like the layout. Yeah, so I'm gonna like throw it in super sideways by that bank. So that'll be another. So I want to kind of get like a flyby down this straight. Sure. So I might stand right where that berm is okay. to the right of it okay. and then get you flying by and then I'll get you at the jump next. Sounds good. All right. The past two shots I shot in 120 frames and then in 60 frames because I want to slow them down but the second one I don't want to slow down too much. This one I'm just going to shoot in 24 because I don't plan on slowing it down. So everything kind of has its own meaning. I got to give him thumbs up. <laughs> it's gonna look really sick, but yeah. I might just need to downshift to first, which feels so out of the ordinary, but whatever. We'll it figure it out. It do be. The downshift makes the handbrake weird. Yeah. I was moving on that last one. Yeah, you got it. That tree was uh, oh, close there, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so now I uh, do the jump one. Yeah, so you want me to be like at the end of the corner to get you going over it, okay. or? I think one shot getting me going into the berm and the jump from behind would be good. Okay, so should I be on like the inside of the berm? Whatever has continuity from where you're standing on this side. Okay. Yeah, jump sick. It's just a little small. It makes you feel weightless, right? That Lime rock. scary because I'm moving going into that one. Yeah, slow down. Slow down. You in the jungle, Mike? You know the way. <laughs> you ready, Mike? Uh, give me like 10 seconds. Okay. Doug. It's oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> almost flipped his right. Holy sh Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Yeah, but that no. that's just that's how far he's digging into it. Is that root wasn't even exposed earlier. Zach got a photo though. You're literally two wheels off the ground. Really? Sean said you nearly flipped it. <laughs> that would have sucked. <laughs> yeah, the photo, it's like, dude, it's crazy. Yeah, we might need to grade some of these corners that are running up. Like that corner right now, I think is too rutted. I think that's part of the problem. Yeah, you dug up another log in that corner that we just moved Got it, it, but it was not even there oh, before. I see. Jump will look cooler from like if you're standing like on the lip versus being on the landing because it's not going to really go that high. The lip of the, of takeoff or yeah, landing? Yeah, takeoff. Okay. So, so you you don't want to you just want that's the behind shot is on the lip. Yeah. Okay. Let me go see if there's a spot that okay. works, um, and then I guess I'll just let James know. Okay. okay. There's a trail back here that. We didn't know about, kinda. Bridge to, bridge to Terabithia? He's gonna go up and, yeah. like, that's gonna be a pretty aggressive shot for sure. Yeah, cause you wanna probably get him lower. I, yeah, I definitely wanna be low down. Yeah. This is also in leg clipping territory, so I'm like, I can't really climb this. Go right over here in the, yeah. In the flower patch. In the flower patch. My little flower patch. My little flower patch. Oh, Mike, let me take an Instagram photo. <laughs> Smooth. 
How do you do, Sean? Pretty good. <laughs> I ain't seen this part yet. You just go weightless for a little bit. <laughs> he was sideways weightless instead of straight. Oh fuck, I gotta go over there. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't as cool as the first one. Because it was kind of sideways yeah. in the first one, right? We're getting these shots knocked out first, and then we can focus on stuff like then that. Then I'm a race car driver. You're a race car driver. <laughs> Reliability on the front. You're gonna get sick. <laughs> You're gonna get sick. <laughs> you gotta be in there with your Xbox controller. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need to. It's fixed mounted. <laughs> that was hard as f bro. That's what I thought was gonna happen every time. But it didn't happen until the last time. <laughs> you sent it on that one. Yeah, it's weird because I felt like it did the same thing as before. It's just, it's getting so rutted up there. Sometimes I have more traction than other times. Um, it doesn't look like we smashed the headlights, but the whole front end's gonna need a little tweak. So it might be a good idea to give the car a break. The car needs a break. We finally got the bottom bar. I'm glad the headlights look okay. Yeah. It needs to cool down anyway, so. I say we adjust that front bar, push it back down like before. Zip tie the front lip, let it cool down, and then we'll start again. I'm gonna fix this while you do that, Sean. Let the record hold. It is way, way easier to drive this car in rear wheel drive. I'm leaving it in all wheel drive because like, kind of part of the purpose, but this area is really small for that and I'm very inexperienced with all wheel drive sliding. Um, and I just learned how much faster I go off the jump when I'm in all wheel drive and I hook up versus when I'm in rear wheel drive and I'm sliding. So, all wheel drive is almost like I gotta make the course even bigger. This dump right here, sketching me out. So what I might do is try to click into rear wheel drive just for getting around this corner. Um, Cause it's really narrow and there's not a lot of room for error. Car's ready to rip, Sean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Tire wasn't flat? No. So post jump, we're gonna get the next shot, which is him coming around the burn pile here and then shooting back off that way. So to keep continuity, I should technically be in uh, the burn pile. for electrical. Uh, not you're <laughs> correct. Something. You're correct Yo. in a sense. I feel like I don't want to be. Okay, I'll go track it down and trade spots with Sean. sick if we want to get a shot of that. And that looks cooler to me because I'm going faster. Okay. Which makes me want to redo the the jump clip by you just so I can like actually be an all-wheel drive there. You mean the donut that you did around the corner or the Yeah, jump? just that, that one last shot you got. I thought you did that in all-wheel drive. No, I did that one very well. Mm. Do it again. Yeah. Before we I move to the next one. I need to cool the car down um, anyway. So, uh, he wants to, he didn't do that in all wheel drive before? Uh, the shot after the jump, he did in rear wheel drive when he kind of just chased the burn pile around the edge. Yeah. Which it looked sick to me, but if he wants to do it again in all wheel drive, he can. What difference is he noticing? Like, um, It's just more speed. Oh, okay, the so car, he's carrying more the, speed. The too. car carries more speed when it's in all wheel drive. It would probably look cool too, because the front wheels will be spinning dirt as well mm. so we'll try it again i'll get dusted again dusted i again. got absolutely destroyed in that one but i'll do it again <laughs> Boy, God, bless, man. man, that's crazy. 
Just, just get it all no, in there. No, that's get horrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had this lens for so long. We love a clicky lens. <laughs> Was that ever a cool kid term? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Dusty shot. My car's a little warm. I need to put E fans on it. The clutch fan just like doesn't like sitting here. It needs more RPM. Yeah. The next shot I'll probably be standing kind of where Zach is. Yeah, that's it. That's an easy one. And then get you running up. Zach's in the pile. He's coming this way. He he hit the. There's a tree, and he hit it, and oh, nearly no. went into it. That's it. All right. That one was good. Yeah. good too yeah yeah i wasn't going crazy fast so like it didn't hurt the car much um cool. all right so next shot i'll be on the other like the receiving end of the jump so do the jump and then the hairpin probably right yeah okay i'm gonna go do another cool down and then i'll go right into it okay magic uh special golden finding, silver treasure finding things yeah finding things at the compound <laughs> getting it to like fully rotate the way he wants but since we're gonna use the next shot like the next angle we're gonna kind of cut that a little bit dusted I might just let it dip in the ditch a little bit and say Fuck it all right do over do Was over. that okay how I went over the jump and didn't jump it yeah like that'll sync up okay. yeah yeah I'm not gonna use the jump part have Sean get ready with the water. Yeah. Because I'm going to need it after this one. Okay. Hi, okay. <laughs> that was good. I like that one. Yeah, he came in Min deep. Minor dusting. Minor dusting. Yeah. yeah. But that was good. Yeah. Sean's ready. He's ready. Cool, cool her down, baby. I, I thought the plan yesterday was to BC barrier so we didn't ruin uh, all the concrete. No, yeah. what are you too talking high, about? I heard we were gonna do too high. We had all this plan set for BC barriers, make it look pretty. That was funny how I clipped the tree. Yeah. Um cool right. down. Yep. Sean's over here. Is this bad? go down to um <laughs> where you turn back into the main like straight the the starting straight okay and i'm gonna get you turning onto that basically okay like you fly down this way turn in there yep. and then i'll get that shot uh going onto the concrete after that okay sounds good and that Dude, that tree clip is sick. Which one? He, when he clips the tree there. Oh, yeah. It's so narrow getting through there. I know. The tree clip was sick. Thanks. Sean, can you man the gate? He's going to cut to the gate now. I'll man the driveway on this end. Exactly 
how I want it to feel. <laughs> the body roll on the pavement feels insane. Yeah, Sean was freaking out. Toledo, that was crazy. I left it wide just so I can zoom in a little bit. Oh, sorry. Pause it. I've got I've got barrels on my sedan. We need lift steel. Now the real cost I think yeah. one of that tire maybe losing air. Yeah, I have I have no, another. That wasn't the leaky one. That was leaky. I have yeah. another barrel lip on the front of the sedan that we could steal because I want to put wider oh, ones. We have on the that. spare. The spare is too wide. Oh, these are eights. I mean, it's good for what we're doing. It's, it doesn't need to be fixed. Like it's, yeah. it's gonna hold air. But we can steal the ones from the other car because I want to put nines on that one anyway. Yeah, we need to just not do that again. Just brush it off and it won't look as, as bad, maybe. Yeah, that'll yeah. do it. Just get all the white concrete dust out. Just get a spit on it, again, dude. Okay, so we got the main outside shots and angles all done with the camera handheld. Now we're diving into the chase shots and we're gonna be using Adam side by side for that. I have my uh, suction mounted camera rig all ready to go on this thing. I got my A7S III here. Gonna mount this to the top, swap my lens over for my 14 millimeter wide lens, just a prime lens, but it's gonna help us get that really wide feel, that warping speed through the trails kind of feeling, and uh, hopefully it turns out really, really cool. But I'm gonna get this set up now, and then we're gonna hop in the woods. All right, rig is set up. Got my 14 millimeter little Rokinon on there, a little tried and true. Decided to strap it down just a little bit more with my support cups. Uh, just because I've never used this for off-road stuff and jumps and I just don't want to chance uh, my camera hitting the floor so it's extremely extremely solid I can shake the entire side by side with it so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere but you can never be too uh, too safe so we're ready to rip waiting on the car we'll get some more shots uh, so with the pizza reel if you guys remember we actually uh, gave away the pizza sign off the roof of the car in a random order from the first day of placing your order for a pizza merch. So we're gonna do the same thing this time, but with uh, the prop for this video. And the prop for this video is this crate here. I actually have some stencils that I made. I'm gonna spray paint the crate, top secret, and then the jacket is gonna be in there when we open the box for the reel. I'm gonna be the Amazon driver this time instead of the pizza delivery man, matching heat waves. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna spray paint this. Here's the finished product. Still drying, I gotta nail this into, but. Uh, that'll be our prop for the Amazon delivery guy. It's gonna be in a random order for you guys. Random order on the first day, Safari Drop is available. It's gonna get chosen and that's gonna be mailed out with your order. So get your order in quick. Uh, stuff could sell out too, you need to be on top of that. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool to ship something off in that. So I got some grass underneath there from a stitch over here and uh doesn't quite have the effect that i thought it would uh so i'm gonna stuff some in these corners here and that's about the look i was going for just something that looks like it's straight out of a safari <coughs> got action going on over here dude
almost perfect. I'm a little hard time on the hairpin, but that was a good run. All right. Well, I can't see with these glasses on. <laughs> Catch us up to speed, Mike. Um, chase shots are done. All the outside shots are done. Uh, we shot the interior GoPro angles while we did the chase, so those should be good. And then now we're just getting the final shots, which is similar to the pizza reel where we pull up to the gate. James is big Amazon man. And uh, Peep the fit. he uh, drops off package. outfit of the day. Drops off package from Amazon Rainforest. Yeah, the, rain, the, the Rainforest the, Amazon. Rainforest yeah. Amazon. Where the safari was. Uh, and we pick out cool stuff. All right, almost there. You look pretty Amazon. I look pretty Amazon, right? All right, what's the, uh, what's the game plan? So this is the part where you flip the the, the bleep, uh, Mike hasn't gotten a shot of that from the outside. So you flip it, that's one shot. Then he's gonna get you getting out of the car, that's another shot, and walking towards the gate. Then it's gonna cut to the gate opening after you flip the and then I'll be standing so flip there. flip and, and pause, don't get out? Yeah. Correct. Alright, let's do it. Filming got cut a little bit short by another flat tire, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with my trail building skills. My jumps have a little bit to be desired. They're a little short, but a lot better than my first renditions of jumps. I'm starting to learn. Um, I think I wanna make some changes, but overall, I'm really happy with how the car is set up. I'm able to sling it around in all-wheel drive now, uh, going from not being comfortable to throwing around all-wheel drive GTR in the middle of the woods. Put a, put a pretty smile on my face and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, obviously, um, we were filming a reel for a merch drop that is going to be happening sometimes next week. We don't have the exact date for it right now, but I'll give you a little preview. Probably one of the biggest collections we've dropped in a very long time and it's all around one of my favorite cars, the Safari GTR. One of the most epic pieces of the collection is this full cut and sew jacket we had made. All the sponsor logos, sweet embroidered patch on the back. You might have seen us wearing something similar at the Zoomies event we went to. Two cool new graphic prints. I think I showed you guys this one. Literally the design came before the car. And then another one that is inspired from some of our adventures over in Colorado. Hoodie, youth sizes, and much more coming sometime mid next week. Keep an eye out on Instagram. We'll give you more details there. And I will see you guys in the next video. When you say